Welcome back to Prison Architects, everybody. I hope you're having a good one because I am excited to be back. Seems like you guys kind of enjoyed that first episode. I'm glad because I had fun with it. I'm glad you did too. We're going to keep this going a little bit, see what we can do with the prison, and hopefully not run out of money. We have $23,000 right now, and today, what I'm wanting to do is just make the prison look a little bit better. I want to get some flooring in here. I want to make the place look a little bit fancier. I want to get the staff canteen and kitchen going, and I want to start planning out some actual cells so we can bring more inmates in here. So, in terms of the staff canteen, let's keep this relatively simple. Let's, we'll start with the kitchen, actually. Uh, so let's go for, let's see here. Let's go for a cooker and I'm tempted to say one, honestly. I think one cooker is, is probably enough. We can go ahead and say that we have a fridge right here and we can do a sink right down here. And that'll be perfect for the staff kitchen. As for this space, I kind of like the idea of using these oak tables just to make it a little nicer for the staff that we have here. So if I go ahead and put one, say, well, yeah, I guess, hold on, let's start with the serving table, actually, because we do need some good space for this thing. Uh, so let's put a serving table right up at the top. We'll go ahead and just put an oak table there and there, and we can do one, I guess, here and here with some oak benches all around those. Now, that does mean that this one's not going to have benches up here, but that's okay and i think that's probably good enough for a staff canteen uh now can i deploy cooks i absolutely can all right so we're gonna have two cooks in here all through the day i guess we probably want to go ahead and maybe hire one more and then what we can do is we can just say that at all points throughout the day I mean, do we have cooks assigned to that kitchen at all points throughout the day? We don't really. We'll, we'll assign one down there. We don't have any at this point. I don't really know when staff are going to go to break either. So I don't know if we want cooks in the kitchen at the same time as, you know, the cooks are in the other one. But it's it's probably all right, I guess. Uh, we'll keep you, I guess, in there for now, in there and in there. And that's okay. So it's been sorted. We have a guy down here. So we'll go ahead and speed things up. And I'll actually go ahead and prioritize all of this as well. Because I want to make sure that, you know, the staff canteen's up and going. I want to keep my staff relatively happy. Uh, we do, of course, need to power all of this. So let's make sure that power line's filled in. And let's go ahead and just do something relatively simple. We'll bring this straight out here. We'll bring that straight over there. In terms of pipes, we'll just do this. And we'll go ahead and prioritize all of that as well. And I just want to make sure I didn't miss any electrical cables anywhere else because there was that one down there that was missing. But it looks like we're pretty good. So we'll not worry too much about it. We'll get all of that installed, which will mean the cookers will be up and going, which they are. And then the pipes down here, by the looks of it, this guy really wants to use that sink right now. So hopefully the pipes won't take too long, which, uh, what is that? I don't think that's pipes at all. Oh, no, that's food. Okay. Oh, there we go. So that's being sorted. I have no idea when that cook is going to go and, like, do anything. I, I I don't know. But we have a staff canteen. It's functional, and that's kind of great. I'm also kind of wondering, what's, uh, what season have we gone into here? Can I, like, see what time of year it is? It's currently summer, and the weather is overcast. All right. It looks like it's getting in towards winter, but I guess it's not. Anyway. We've got this done. Let's go ahead while we're here. And I want to just dismantle all of these trees. Uh, maybe, well, yeah, I'm going to dismantle all of these trees because I am going to start planning the cell block. And I'm actually thinking of putting it down here. That's, I'm not just getting rid of the trees because I can. I'm getting rid of the trees because I kind of want to use this space down here for the cell block. I think that'd be kind of interesting. We can maybe use this for activities like a workshop or a library or something like that can go into this space right here so having the cells kind of close to that or closer to that is probably not a bad idea or we put a giant shower in there but probably not going to be doing that we could i mean we could do a fight ring 
That's that's always an option. Can this thing just go anywhere? It can go indoors pretty much anywhere. That's kind of great. Maybe that's what this is. Just a giant fight ring. What, wait, what is this? Wall, pan wall panel corner type B. Individual corner pieces for wall panels used to create separated areas without clearing room tiles. What? Oh, these are kind of weird looking. I'm not actually sure what these are for. Oh, well, we'll figure that out at some point. Regardless, let's start doing some planning on a cell block. Let's see what we can do for this thing. Because I'm thinking it's going to have an entrance that is basically going to be here. And I'm thinking it's going to have one there. And then in terms of walls, it's basically going to be... Let's just say up to there for now. That'll be, that'll be pretty good. We'll go ahead and put the doors back in there and over here as well. So... We're going to have a corridor come straight down the middle. So that means that this bit's going to be sort of blocked off. This bit's going to be blocked off. Maybe we do a little section of corridor up here as well. So these parts are kind of like old cells and stuff like that. And I guess the way we look at it is plain and simple. We want to do like a little four by six space. My cells can actually, they can be smaller. They can be this size. They can be, what is that? Five by four. So if we do five by four, these aren't going to be luxurious, but... Well, actually, you know what? Let's go a little bit bigger. Let's go a little bit bigger. We'll go four by six. Just because it's it's going to let me put more stuff in here. It'll hopefully keep the inmates a bit happier. And also, it fits really nicely in there, which is kind of great. Uh, over on this side, we've got four by six the entire way down. And then what have we got in the middle? What is this space? That is eight by four. What if we made this like a shower? Or what if I said like this was a shower and this was like an open part? Or even all of that was a shower and that's an open part. It does mean this bit over here is going to be kind of weird. Not really sure what that's going to look like spacing wise, but we can probably figure it out. Okay, so slight change of plan, but... I've managed to get a bit of a better setup going here, and it's also expandable because I can put more cells into this little bit down here if I want to, basically. I can also expand it this way at some point if I happen to want to, and this is easily, you know, clonable. I can just move it to the top of, you know, the yard at some point as well if I happen to want to. The problem is that this is expensive. This is going to be really, really expensive to build. So what I might do as sort of an interim thing is go to foundations and go to brick and basically just build this bit for now rather than trying to build like all of it. Because I, I could afford it. I absolutely could. I just think building this bit is probably a lot more sensible. We'll still get some cells. We'll still be able to move prisoners into that space. It's just not, you know, as expensive. And then we can use some of the money that we get from, obviously, the trees and whatnot, as well as the new inmates, to then go ahead and build the rest of it. Which is kind of the point of Prison Architect, I think. I'm pretty sure that's the idea, is that what you're actually supposed to do is build your prison in sections, not just all at once. And that's how you kind of keep making money. Me, on the other hand, I usually don't do that. But I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do. Now... Speaking of things, uh, prison policy allows me to increase and decrease the punishments for all types of misconduct. Also allows me to control the nutritional policy, which is important. Psychology is going to let me see the needs of all of my inmates. So we probably want to look into that. Education would be great as well. Unlocks the ability to run educational reform programs for my prisoners. Not a bad idea. Uh, surveillance, remote access, all that stuff over here. Staff, vetting, and prison labor. Honestly, prison labor is one that I want to get sooner than later. I think that would be pretty good. So we'll get those two things going. And I also want to look at my grants here because we need to hire 10 guards and we need to assign them to patrol routes. Now, looking at bureaucracy, have I got patrols? I do. So why don't we... Maybe go ahead and hire one, two, three guards, and we'll go to deployment, we'll go to patrols, we'll say blue patrol, and we'll say, you know, we want them to patrol there, and here, and here, and across here, sort of in that little way, 
and we'll sort of go to those parts and maybe across here. And then what we can do is go to any time. Well, actually, I'm going to need to look at my uh, my program right now, my regime, and we need to see here. So at this time, we need to instead of having guards deployed here, let's say you know maybe instead we have two guards sort of patrolling that space when the prisoners are eating uh maybe during free time as well instead of a guard deployed there we say you know maybe the guard patrols maybe not uh maybe not that right there uh but that's that's fine so that's one patrol we now need more than that so let me let me just see here so during eat time yard time free time so maybe what is that free time is this whole thing here so maybe we have a blue patrol that sort of goes the entire way around the yard you know that might be a way to get some guards into uh into that space at the same time as the little patrol going over here so we want to go and assign some guards during free time like that and there we go i got ten thousand dollars beautiful and now I can go grab another grant, which is exactly what I want to do. We don't want criminally insane inmates, that's for sure. Gang welfare is going to take a little while. Cell block A is in progress. Build a medical ward, two doctors and a psychologist. We are working on that. Assign two dog handlers. We can get there as well. Assign three prisoners to work in laundry, kitchen, and cleaning cupboard. Now that's going to take forever. Okay, green machine is solar panel, wind turbine. No, I'm good on that. Use only green power sources to power the prison for five days. Ugh, I don't know about that. Oh, boy. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's go for... I don't want to train guards right now. We'll go for the health and well-being because we can do that. And I guess visitation? I guess. It's, it's, it's not the most money, but... Sure, we'll look at visitation. Because that also wants us to have a common room with like a pool table and two TVs. So we can build that into like this space down here. So if I go to walls and I say that maybe the common room is going to be, I don't know, maybe like 10 by 10. And then up here we can do whatever this ends up being. So maybe something like, uh, maybe something like that. So that'll be like cleaning and, and laundry or whatever. This can be a common room. It's right by the cells. Probably not a bad place for it. Visitation at some point is likely going to be up in this area. So the prisoners would like come in through it's a, like a door here and we'd have visitors come in maybe a door here or something like that. I don't really know. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, but let's go to rooms. Let's go to common room and we'll say that's what this is going to be. Do I have a cleaning cupboard? I do. So we'll do a cleaning cupboard there, and we'll do... Do I have laundry? We don't have laundry yet. So if we have a little look here. Prison labor unlocks the workshop and laundry. Okay. This could be the workshop. This weirdly shaped room. I think that can be the workshop. So let's just go ahead and start building some things. So this is all... Are these the white tiles that I've used for those walls? I think it might be. Okay. So white wall. Yeah, that's exactly what we used. All right, let's say this middle bit's gonna be tiled. And then let's say, do we have like a reclaimed wood wall? We absolutely do, I love it. Okay, uh, let's use reclaimed wood for this wall because that's gonna be kind of silly. And let's use just, I guess, white walls for the rest of it. I don't know if that, that might be a little weird. I'm just trying to like make this a little fancy down here. That's That's all I'm really looking to do. And then we need to go to, I guess, objects, or no, we need to go to walls and doors, get a door, and I guess these are just going to be doors, right? Because these will have prisoners working in them, the, cl the cleaning cupboard and the laundry, people will work in there, so regular doors? I could do regular jail doors, because eventually we're going to automate all of this, right? Eventually it's going to be servos and things like that, but, oh, I don't know. I guess, yeah, a large jail door for the common room. That seems fair enough. And then just a regular jail door there and there should be fine. So that'll be great. We'll get all that going, but we still have to build all of this down here. So we're going to be waiting for a 
couple of minutes whilst my workmen get done doing what they're doing. Now, this is something that keeps happening and I keep forgetting about. We have two prisoners who are currently due to go to solitary, I believe, and are injured. We have this guy that's injured as well, and I now have a guard that's also injured. So I feel like we need to get our hands on a medical ward sooner than later. So here's, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that I want to go ahead and I want to get some doors. I want to get this double staff door and I want to put it here. And I want to do that because that's going to let me remove this one. And we can look at putting like a little medical space down in here. Maybe along with a morgue as well. A little bit grim, perhaps, but it's... We, we've had a couple of deaths, I'm going to be honest. I know there was one in the first episode. There was one actually between this episode and the last one. Because I'm an idiot and I left the game running for a second. Like, I, I stopped recording and I'm like exporting my audio and grabbing the video footage to put it in its proper folder where it belongs. And as I'm doing that... I look back at my main monitor, the main gaming monitor, and I'm like, oh, someone else is dead. Wonderful. So that was a thing. That was, that was indeed a thing that happened. Uh, so I think that's what we'll do down here. We'll go back into planning, and we'll take a look and see what we got. And uh, to be honest, I think what we got is this space right here, 17 by 13. I think what we do is say that maybe that can be a morgue. That's probably fair enough as uh, as a bit of a morgue and essentially it'll be i suppose a set of of double doors right here and a set of double doors right there and that's that's probably good enough um if anything i might take that bit out and just do this because then we can do morgue slabs um yeah, we'll do a single door there instead uh but then we can do morgue slabs a bit like this the entire way through here and, uh, it's, you know, it, it's, it's nice, question mark. <laughs> it's a nice space, right? It's, it's nice looking, sort of, I guess. Um, <laughs> anyway, we'll leave that, uh, we'll put some concrete floor down there just so it matches. And I guess that's what this is going to be. It's, we've got $29,000, so we can't afford to do this. Uh, so if I go to brick, and I say that I want to do this and this that should be fine it it only cost four thousand one hundred dollars in fact to be completely honest i could if i wanted to build out this entire space here and it would probably i'd probably still have money to do it but i'm just not going to i'm just i'm just not going to do that currently uh this is still a staff area which is great news these are all staff areas the lighting in these is weird though i almost wonder if i do need to build over these to try and update the lighting. They might still be considered, like, outdoor. And I also, also wonder if I would want to do this as, like, another storage area. Might not be a bad idea. Uh, this is also looking like it's finished now. So let me go to walls and doors. Go to doors. Get a nice large jail door. Slap it on there. And uh, let's see if that actually... Let's see if that actually works out. Let's see if that's actually going to let this entire thing get built and become a thing. Because that's going to let me get, what, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 10 cells in there, which is pretty good. So that'll bring us from six prisoners. Where did one of them go? Where where did one of them go? Not dead, are they? That'd be kind of unfortunate. Oh, there we go. So yeah, this is built now, which is great news. So now all I need to do is build a set of cells. So what we'll do is go into walls, and I think what I'll do for this is use... What are we doing right now? Are we medium security? I think we're medium security. Yeah, so we're a medium security prison. So let's use the medium security walls. They're a bit more expensive, but they, they look kind of cool. So we'll go for like medium security walls there. We'll do this one and we'll do this one. And I'll, I'll just build like one of the cells, essentially. And then we'll just copy and paste it the whole way along. So that'll be our cell. Uh, the door, of course, is going to be right there and in terms of objects for a cell i mean if i search cell it needs a bed or a mattress or a comfy bed or a coffin bed uh, or an old bed interesting if i search bed we have a coffin bed interesting 
Uh, you know, I don't think we need that. Uh, the comfy bed is, like, really expensive. It's actually four times the price of the regular bed. But it's tempting because it would keep them happier. It's very, very tempting to do the coffin bed. Sorry, not the coffin bed, the comfy bed. Or, like, the, the old bed is cheaper, but it makes it worse. This is, like, even worse. Good lord. Yeah, we could be quite rough with this if we really wanted to be. Um, I don't, I don't really know. I, I was also thinking maybe bunk beds so that we can put two people per cell, but that might be a little bit much. I don't know if we would want to do that. I think I'm, ooh, I don't know. I've never, I've almost never used comfy beds. I've almost never used it. Let's do, ooh, I don't know. Let's do beds for now. Let's just do beds and we can upgrade eventually. Uh, so a cell also needs a, uh, toilet. So the toilet can live here. And I kind of wonder, I mean, I could put a shower in, in the cells too. We'll put a toilet there instead. What else can I put in a cell that's going to make it nice? So if I search like cell, we can do a bookshelf. We could do a TV if we really wanted to. We could do a sink and mirror, which honestly wouldn't be too bad. We could do a radio do like a short bookcase, but I think we have to like, oh no, that's, that's not what I'm looking for at all. Chest of drawers, apparently, a wooden stool. The bathroom sink requires a water connection. So does this, to be fair. I think we do the sink and mirror. I think that's what we go for. We could do a pet bird. That seems a little, a little silly. Canvas and paints as well. There's a lot of stuff we can do here. Soft pillow. What do I have to do with this? Improve the quality and comfort of a bed with a fluffy feathered pillow. Okay, we'll do that. It's an extra $15. So we'll do the sink and mirror. And we'll do the, the the soft pillow. And then maybe also like a radio? Or a bookshelf? I think we'll do a bookshelf. That makes it better, right? Although this does as well. We'll do the, we'll do the books. So we'll do books here. Let me prioritize this construction in here because I kind of need this done sooner than later. So we'll do books, and then I think this thing needs to be, like, against a, a wall to be placed. Same with the bathroom sink, possibly. Not actually too sure on that one. Um, most likely needs to be against a wall, so let's just check. Yeah, so it has to be against a wall, so I need this wall down here done. And then we're good. So I guess while all of this is going in, we should probably start bringing some utilities down here. So what I'll do is, I suppose, bring this down like so. We'll bring it around the entire cell block. Not that we necessarily need to, but I'll do it anyway. We also have a new prisoner coming in shortly, which is great news. And we also need to bring power down here. So let's also do this right here, just to make sure everything in that space is going to have power, which it now will. And while we're here... We can also... Oh, someone's trying to make a run for it. We'll get to him in just a second. Uh, while we're here, let's just go ahead and bring all of these small pipes in here. So that uh, everything is going to be sorted and I can deal with the guy trying to make a break for it up there. Let's see. Where is he? Oh, wait. Why is it... Why is it highlighting the... Oh, it's... No, it's not someone making a break for it. It's someone that's just arriving to the prison. Never mind. I'm just a bit of an idiot. So we've got Shore. We have Sean Shore. Who is in for what? Carjacking, carjacking, and robbery. All right. Well, he's going to be here for a while, but that's fine. Uh, this is all slowly coming together. I'll tell you what I should do is I should put these tiled walls in here. And I should go to, uh, to doors and jail doors. And we should make this into a shower sooner than later. So let's go to objects. Actually, let's go to room and let's go for shower. And then we can see all the objects that we have as uh, as options. Uh, so we have the shower pillar to position in the middle of a shower room and then attach shower heads to each side. Um, do I want to do that? I guess I sort of do. We can do a little, little something like this. We can do shower heads sort of all around the room a bit like this. And then we'll just do a bunch of... Uh, bunch of shower heads coming off the pillars as well and that'll keep us pretty good in terms of the amount of uh, showers that we have in here so that looks all right that's gonna be a whole lot of piping that we have to bring in there but we can totally afford to do it i think it's well actually i'm gonna have to wait for the showers to be done so i can see what i'm doing but i'll tell you what i will do is get some lights in here 
So I totally forgot to put lights in the cells as well. So we'll go ahead and put lights just in front of all of these doors. I think that's going to be the easiest way to do it. And that'll sort of bleed out into the corridors as well. Although I guess some lights down here, definitely not going to hurt. Some lights down in the corners, definitely not going to hurt. I've just realized these things are 30 bucks each. It's just sort of hit me how expensive lights are in this game. I've never actually noticed that before or bothered to pay attention to it. But good lord, that's actually kind of expensive. All right. Well, we'll get this done. Shouldn't take too long now. And just like that, we have some cells. It took a little bit longer than I was hoping it would, but they're here. So let's go ahead and start putting them to work. Let's get ourselves some actual cells right there and get some people into the cells because that's kind of a big deal. Now, we should see all of our inmates move into this space, which is going to be great. But that does mean that we now need to go in and recheck deployment. So let's have a quick look at the regime and see what's going on. So overnight, I don't think we need guards, as many guards in the holding cell. We can kind of keep them in these spaces. Maybe not the showers because, well, they're sleeping. But what we'll do now is go to patrols and we'll just set ourselves a patrol that kind of goes around this way. I think that's probably fair enough. Uh, we could probably set a magenta patrol that goes around sort of the entire thing so that we actually have room for guards to come down this way, but just not as often. And then what we'll do overnight is just say there's two guards on this and there's one guard on that. And that'll be okay. And then during shower time, we'll just assign two guards to this and we'll just have a guard sort of patrolling back and forth in front here. So we'll assign a guard to that patrol and that'll be fine. Then we have canteen time, which is going to be the same as always. Uh, we probably want to look at deployment for this. So canteen time or that's shower time. We'll take the guards. Maybe we'll keep one in there just in case. Canteen time is whatever. Uh, then what is it? It's yard time. So we'll have some guards in there. I could probably check patrols for that because I think that's the only dedicated yard time throughout the day. So we probably do want to say, you know, maybe three guards get assigned to that and one or two less on actual deployment. And then during the day, which is work and free time, we're probably going to want to come back here and say, you know, maybe, maybe a guard here and be a guard here and a guard there. So we'll have three guards moving around during work and free time. Uh, we could probably also assign a guard to the common room. That's probably not a bad idea. And we'll probably want some guards in cleaning and in laundry as well at some point, but I'm not super stressed about that. And that should keep us covered. That should be us pretty good. We should be seeing our inmates move to their cells now, which they absolutely are. They've got their own toilet. They've got their own sink. They've got their own bookcase. I would imagine that's going to keep them kind of happy. I would hope that's going to keep them kind of happy because if it doesn't make them happy, well, I don't know what to tell them. To be quite frank, it's, uh, I'd say it's not my problem, but it kind of is. What we can do though is go to, I guess, intake and say that we can now have up to 10 prisoners, which is great. We can move a rival if we really want to. Uh, if I move it to like 11, is, is that a thing I can do it? What time is it currently? It's one in the afternoon. Hold on a minute. So if I was to say the intake was actually at like two in the afternoon or like three. So we can bring prisoners in shortly. I'm just going to do that. I think that's just the way we do it. We just, you know, bring them in in the afternoon and that'll be great. So we have more prisoners arriving in a couple of minutes or like seconds really for me. So that's kind of great. And uh, we actually have a lot of trucks backed up as well. That's a bit of a problem. Okay. Okay. Let's let those through because we kind of need all the things from the trucks and we also need the trucks to get out of here. We need you to be able to get out of here as well. We've got some exports going. We can bring you, oh my God, there's so many trucks. There's way too many of them. That's, it's a little bit silly just how many of these things there are. Uh, I guess we should probably prioritize exports or something like that just to see if we can, you know, get all of this stuff out of here. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, this is also locked open right now. I kind of need someone to move this log because that's a bit of a security breach. 
just a bit. It's just a bit of a security breach. I can't say that I love it. But, well, I suppose we'll, we'll be all right. I'll tell you what I will do. I do want to get myself a laundry room. And it's going to be right here. It needs a laundry machine, laundry basket, and ironing board. So we'll go in here. We'll search for laundry. We're going to need some machines. Now, these things, if I remember right, they take, like, a lot of power. So I'm just going to do three. And uh, for ironing boards, well, we can do we can do one. And then laundry baskets, we can do, like, three. And that should be all right. So we'll go ahead and just get all that prioritized. These guys need plumbed in, and I think they also need a direct connection for electricity as well, so that'll be a thing. But I guess what I want to do now is see if I can, by any chance, go ahead and put people to work. I'm not, for the life of me, I can't remember how to do it. Prison labor, there we go. Uh, so, one, so max jobs is three, and max jobs is three. I'm just going to do that. We're just going to have six of them working in there, and that's going to be great. Food distribution is going to be those two are connected together. That's great. Transport is whatever. Deliveries are whatever. And cell status is... Ooh, this one's apparently apparently deadly. All right. Well, that is... That is my problem, but it's also not. I mean, it is, but I also don't care. Um, I'll tell you what I will do, just while we're here. Since we have people working in these spaces, we should probably actually assign guards to both of those rooms just to make sure that prisoners aren't like stealing things that would be i feel like that would be a good idea i feel like that's a smart thing to do i've just noticed a couple of the inmates are still in the holding cells which is kind of interesting i don't know how i feel about that because i feel like they shouldn't be so if i look at my prisoners this guy is maximum security i I want to change him to be medium because we're not going to be moving anyone into max sec at the minute anyway. Uh, and I think that means that we need to look at prison policy. Now, prison policy is something we don't have at the minute. But uh, once we get that, that should mean I can stop people being put into, uh, essentially, into uh, different, different security levels. I'm also thinking I should probably just go to rooms and get rid of these two. I feel like that's not a bad idea. Just kind of force these guys out of the holding cell, out of those showers, and it'll be great. Uh, we can also go in there and demolish all of this. And we can also go and get rid of all of those objects. Arguably, we could turn this into visitation if we really wanted to. Which might not be a bad idea. You know, use the old holding cell as visitation. That actually seems like it would be great. Uh, now, looking at it, they're all going to be moving off to eat. There is food waiting for them, which is great news. I don't know if everybody is actually eating, but it's looking like there's not actually enough food going out, which I'm slightly concerned about, but uh, that's probably okay. So they're, they're getting their food. They're hanging about a little bit. They're doing whatever. It seems like they don't need the full two hours, but whatever. They then have mandatory yard time. And mandatory yard time is run around for like an hour, doing whatever you do. A few of them still injured. We probably need to do something about that. And then it's work and free time. Now, six of them should go and work in the cleaning cupboard and laundry, which it looks like this guy very much is. This guy very much is as well. And this guy is. Okay. Three of them haven't gone to work in the cleaning cupboard, which is slightly frustrating. Oh, they have. They just don't have access to this. I'll tell you what, let's lock the showers open and let them kind of help clean down there. That's good. That's that's actually exactly what we want. We want to keep this place nice and clean. We've got the inmates doing it. So that's actually kind of fantastic. That's, that's exactly what we need. I guess at this point, we just need to start looking towards getting security in here. Ooh, hello. Oh, no, that's new guys getting here. Yeah, we need to start looking at getting security so we can get servos on the doors to automate all of that. But otherwise, this is good. Let's get a medical ward. Let's get visitation. Let's expand the cell block and see if we can make this place better.